Okay, so yesterday we tried out the Grey Poupon ice cream, where a majority of the comments were a lot of no, 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 hmm, maybe, but it tasted pretty good, I swear. My taste in food is uh, much like my taste in movies, where it's a lot of me saying it's good, I swear. And on the plus side, at the store, it was right next to the pizza flavor, and I can't buy one without the other. Uh, no, really, with this kind of show, I really can't buy one without the other. So, once again, enough being a smartass, I, I gotta try this out before it melts. It doesn't say what kind of pizza on the container, just pizza. Let's try it out. Hmm. 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 <laughs> no, really, it's good, actually. Oh, this is the best pizza in a cup ever. This guy is unbelievable. So, it is good. I'm waiting to taste much of a pizza flavor in it. It's there a little bit. So, the mozzarella part of it is certainly in there, and it makes it taste very much like a, a, like, like a cheesecake ice cream, honestly. Whereas the tomato, you know, the sauce is like the consistency of a jam, kind of like what they did with the mustard taste, making it the consistency of caramel swirl and the grape poupon ice cream. And the crust is like this uh, basil cookie pieces, essentially. And let me get a bigger bite of that. Mm. Can I taste the pizza crust in this, uh, <laughs> in this ice cream? A little bit. Honestly, it 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 does work. It tastes like a pretty good cheesecake ice cream with a light tomato taste, and that 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 does honestly work as a jam in here. I do like it. I wish the pizza taste was stronger. You certainly tasted more of the mustard in the other ice cream. That's the way I'm talking about ice cream, and I'm like, and that's a compliment. The other one was stronger at tasting like mustard than this is than this is pizza, but. They, they passed the challenge of, of, of making it pretty good, honestly, even, even if it needed to be stronger. It's, I like what they're doing here, where they're taking, I haven't tried the mac and cheese one yet. I'm still trying to keep an eye out on that at stores, but it's kind of like when, when you're watching a, uh, like one of those cooking shows where, you know, you'd see it on the Food Network or something, where the gist is we're taking a, a lot of different ingredients that shouldn't go together. Let's see if you can make it work. And they have professional chefs do this, and usually they'll end up making it work. That, that's kind of what they're doing here. It makes me curious as to see what they're going to do next. Uh, I pr to compare this to the, to the mustard one, I do like them both. The, I probably like the taste of this one better. I, I, I like cheesecake a lot, and it tastes more like cheesecake than it does pizza. But as for the gimmick, the other one tasted more like, like mustard, so it's, it's got an edge there. But these are out for a limited edition, and if you want to check them out as a curiosity, hey, I... I <laughs> I, rec I recommend them. I, going back to what I said earlier, I, I recommend my food with, this, with the, the same way I recommend an, an old exploitation film. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. Make sure you subscribe to our channel today, click the notification bell, and we'll be back tomorrow with a review of Nope, which I... Actually, I think that's what people are going to say in the comments when I'm talking about these ice creams. So, I'll see you then.